A patent is defined as a, as a right uh, that is registered in a certain territory in exchange for public disclosure. Uh, the owner of a patent actually gets a total monopoly over his invention, uh, which prevents anybody else from making, using, selling or importing it. So what are the steps to obtain a patent? There's actually three key tests that you have to undergo if you want to register for a patent. The, the first thing is called novelty test. Anything that has been already invented before or even disclosed to the public is no longer considered novel. So this is something which you have to prove and usually this is done by, by a search in public uh, media. The uh, second uh, test is much more uh, subjective. It's called actually the inventive step or the obviousness test. And how it works is actually a patent office will come with something like a hypothetical person that actually challenges the uh, patent applicant to say, well, what you do is actually obvious or is not really inventive to me. Anyone in the field with a similar knowledge or know-how in this field would be able to come up with this idea easily. And then, of course, as a third point, uh, whatever is invented needs to be able to put in practice, which means it has to be a service or a product that can be used in the, in the industry. If there's anything you need to remember in this is do not disclose your idea before you have seek for protection. Because once you have told anybody, it is considered a public disclosure and hence no longer patentable. Patents are territorial, which means that you have to register for your patent in every country. The laws applicable are different in every territory. For example, if you succeed in the US with your patent, it doesn't guarantee success in, for example, Europe. To give you some examples what can generally be patented or not, if you invented like a, a new aspirin, then uh, you could actually patent it. Aluminum foil would something that potentially could be patented when it was the first time, but now it is actually something that has been patented many years ago, so this patent has expired, so you can't get a patent again for the same thing. Then a stent that is placed in an artery uh, potentially could be patented, but this is a very crowded space of patenting. That means there's many, many hundreds and even thousands of patents out there that touch the same space, so if you might succeed in registering your patents, you might be very uh, narrow with your, with your patent. A name for a new engine part would not be patentable, but it could be subject to trademark. A perpetual energy engine, for example, would not be able to be patented because it is against the law of physics. And then a uh, anti-corrosion coating uh, could potentially be patented. Think of WD-14, uh, but you might also consider that a trade secret because uh, the patent only gives you limited protection and if if your product is good, you might want to extend that. So a computer program is actually not patentable, but there are cases where you can get software patents. So it really depends on the territory and also depends on, on what you do. So this is something which is a very complicated area. To find out more, uh, you need to dig into the different countries and their laws applicable. If you want to find out more about Takamul, you can visit our webpage takamul.gov.ae or send us an email takamul at tdc.gov.ae